I'm on one of my uh, late night drive arounds. Figure I'd stop for a minute. I just had this thought for this video, right? So I was talking to a friend of mine about his uh, goings on with his girlfriend. And I, I think someone needs to put this out here for you women, for, for, for you modern women. All right? If you think that keeping a man, and I'm only speaking for myself, that keeping a man guessing as to whether or not uh, they have you, whether they're with you, whether, you know, you guys are in a relationship or you're running around looking for something else. You come into this problem that um, you're not allowing us as men to love you. Now, I, I say this because here's the thing, all right? When men are chasing women, we do all these things. We buy gifts for them. We, we're, we're trying to find out what they like, what they don't like. We're uh, uh, trying to build something with them. And here's the thing about building something with someone, right? When you're building that relationship, um, when you're learning about the other person and everything else, everything's up in the air because you don't know that person. Once you've learned uh, about that person, once you've learned what they like, what they don't like, what they're into, who they are as a person, um, you have a choice in whether or not uh, you're going to um, love that person. Now, there's all relationships, especially between men and women, begin with some element of lust. But... Um, there's also friendship, companionship, trust, those types of things. If we can't trust you, then we have a problem because we can't love you. See, we have to have a clear, definitive understanding as to where we fit into your life. And once we do, then... We can love you. We can appreciate you. We can accept you. We can allow ourselves to belong with you. You know, um, and then at that point, the relationship changes because it's not about uh, what I can get from you. It's not about what it takes for me to hold you or to get you. Then it becomes a matter of, of how well I fit together with you. And if you allow us the stability as a man, the stability of uh, knowing how that relationship <clears throat> fits in, of how that relationship is uh, 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 established and whether or not it is there, that is the foundation for which we can build a relationship of love, of appreciation, acceptance, of understanding your value. It's not about what we can give to you or what we can get from you. It is about... Protecting. It is about building. It is about strengthening our relationship. It is about acceptance and mutual benefit. See, if we keep chasing you, then it's either a question of whether or not uh, we're getting something that we want or whether or not you're getting something you want and we're completely up in this whole thing in our heads about where we stand. Men will actually choose women that are below them because they know where they stand with that woman as opposed to accepting a woman who is their equal or even another woman who is below them for whatever reason simply because we don't know where we stand. Everything stays up in the air. So everything becomes this question of what we mean to you, what value you put on us, what value you put on a relationship. 
So we have to have that stability of knowing what the relationship is, how it is defined, and where we fit into it, where we stand on it. So, and I could use my own life as an example of why I've pulled away from people and and responded to things that I did because I simply didn't know. And for me, it was easier to, if I don't know, and you're not giving me a clearly defined, established uh, basis for our relationship, just walk the fuck away. Um, I, I've often been called a dog and a bunch of other things because I have a, I have a lot of relationships that I've been in that have not lasted longer than six months. But I am like this. My time is precious. All right. If I can't see where I fit into trying to have a relationship with you, then I will ask you plainly if you just want to be friends. If a woman just tells me she wants to be friends, fine. I'm free to pursue other options. If she tells me she doesn't, but doesn't want to give me a clearly defined um basis of clearly defined foundation for where our relationship is or where it's headed or where she wants it to head, then I have two options. I can sit around and be stringed along like a puppy and which I fucking hate, or I can later nice knowing you and I'm out. Now, just because I've had relationships that have only lasted, um, you know, a few months, uh, anywhere from like one to three months of the majority of them. Um, it doesn't mean that I've slept with everyone that I've dated. It doesn't mean that, uh, I've tried to, um, it means quite clearly that I value my time. I value how much energy I put into a relationship. If it doesn't look like it's going anywhere, then why the hell do we have it? And I'm not the only man who thinks this way, you know, Think about it. A guy who dates 25 women in a year maybe sleeps with three of them. As compared to a guy who dates uh, one woman for three years, regardless of how many times they've had sex, whether they have or had not had sex in that three-year period, but he stays with this person trying to figure out where the relationship is going, is there a relationship, on what uh, uh, elements is this relationship based on <clears throat> to me it just seems like that person spending three years with something that they don't know where it defines how it's defined or where it's going is wasting not only their time but the time of the person they're with you're creating a codependency issue to where you're stuck with someone or you've been with someone so long you feel obligated to remain there as opposed to going out and finding, you know, the things that make you happy. And if you can't do that with a person, then what is the point of the relationship with the person? So you have to kind of understand that, you know, it, it, the idea of stringing a guy along, keeping a guy questioning the relationship because you think you're going to get some benefit from it, keep him chasing you, if, depending on the guy you're dealing with, and a lot of guys have my mentality, all you're doing is just pushing him away to walk away from you. Now, the weaker man will stay there with you for the longest time trying to figure out where thing goes and, uh, uh, you know, keep chasing you, trying to get to the end. And a lot of guys will do this simply for the idea of sex until they get the sex and then they leave. It's not about sex. It's about how does the relationship define itself? And see, here's the thing. Women don't realize this. But with most guys, um, nice guys, I'll say, you control the relationship as far as sex, as far as the physical intimacy and stuff like that. We give you that control out of respect and out of love and out of valuing you as a human being to let you decide at what point you want to give yourselves to us. But if we, even if you give yourselves to us physically, intimately, and we still have to question where the relationship is going or once it is based or anything else, 
we just write it off as it's nothing more than sex and we walk away from you. That's where a lot of you modern women don't understand that, you know, men, at least confident men who are, um, who value their time and their energy and their effort, um, have to have a clear definition of what our relationship is and where it goes and how it is defined. Just putting that out there because my buddy was telling me about his girlfriend keeps stringing him along. He doesn't know if they're in a relationship and doesn't know what's going on. And it got me to thinking, this is where, you know, a lot of you modern women don't understand um, how men, at least confident, um, competent men operate. 